So let's say we give two classes, class A and class B, the same test. And there are eight people in each class, and these are the scores that they get. We need to work out the mean and the range. And what we want to do is compare the two classes to see how well they've done. So, firstly for class A, we're going to work out the mean. So we add them all together, 11 plus 15, plus 20, plus 25, plus 16, plus 12, plus 26, plus 17, and that's 142. Divide that by 8, and we get 17.75. Okay? Then the range is the largest, which is 26, take away the smallest, which is 11, so 26 take away 11 is 15. Now for class B, we add them all up, so 15 plus 32 plus 35 plus 12 plus 21 plus 28 plus 29 plus 30, and divide that by 8, is 25.25. The range is the largest, which is 35, take away the smallest, which is 12. So 35 take away 12 is 23. Okay, so now that we have the mean and the range for both, both sets of data, and if we're then asked to make two comparisons, we need to make a comparison based on the two means and the two ranges. So if we compare the two means, it is clear that class B, on average, did better than class A because their mean average score was higher. I mean, the average score is 25.25 compared with 17.75. So class B clearly did better. When we compare the range, remember the range tells you how spread out the data is. So class B's data is spread out wider than class A's, which means that class A's data is more consistent. Class A are more consistent, there is a narrower gap. Um, so class B's data is more spread out, okay? So there is a larger difference between the weaker student and the stronger student. And that is how we can compare using the mean and the range.